This is Disney's Frozen 5-Minute Stories. This is Olaf's Perfect Summer Day. Summer had arrived in Arendelle. Everyone was enjoying the long, sunny days after a very cold winter. This was going to be the hottest day of the year. Most of the villagers wanted to stay inside where it was cool, but Olaf could hardly wait to get outside. This was the kind of day he had always dreamed of. Anna, Anna, Olaf called, running into the princess's room. Guess what today is? It's the perfect summer day. Let's go outside and play. I bet there'll be bees buzzing and dandelions fuzzing everywhere. Anna groaned as she sat up in bed. It was sure to be hot and sticky outside. Then she saw Olaf's hopeful face. How could she say no? Anna got dressed, and the two went to look for Elsa. There you are, Olaf cried joyfully when they found her at last. Today is exactly the kind of day I've been waiting for my whole snowman life. Please, can we go outside in the sunshine? Elsa laughed. That sounds like fun, Olaf, she said. Olaf, Anna, and Elsa set off at once for their fun summer day. In the royal gardens, they noticed some children lying in the grass. Giggling, Olaf ran up to them. Hello, my name is Olaf. Don't you just love summer? The children were so charmed by Olaf that they jumped up and began to tumble about. Soon, Olaf had all the children chasing butterflies and blowing fuzz off dandelions. Summer was exactly like he'd always imagined. After a little while, Anna plopped down on the grass. Phew, all that running tired me out, she said. Elsa agreed. Let's head to the docks. I think we can find a nice boat to sail into the fjord. Olaf, who had been chasing a bumblebee, stopped in his tracks. We're going sailing? I've always wanted to try sailing. On the docks, Elsa and Anna chose a beautiful sailboat. As they set sail, Olaf hummed happily. He even got to steer the boat. When they reached the shore, Anna set up a picnic, <laughs> but Olaf couldn't sit still. Don't you just love the feeling of sand on your snow, Anna? He squealed. Anna gingerly stuck her toe in the sand. Oh, goodness, that is, um, warm, she squeaked. Anna ran to cool her feet in the water. Meanwhile, Olaf chased the waves and was chased by them. The three friends spent the whole afternoon playing in the summer sun. They built sand castles and sand people, and they even danced with the seagulls. Finally, when they tired themselves out, Anna, Elsa, and Olaf had a picnic on the shores of the fjord. Hands down, this is the best day of my life, said Olaf. As they sailed back to Arendelle, Olaf admired the beautiful colors the setting sun made in the sky. I wish I could hug the summer sun, he said. I bet it would feel wonderful. Anna smiled tiredly. You might need a bigger snow flurry for that, Olaf, she said. Back at the docks, 
Kristoff and Sven had just returned from harvesting the mountain lakes. Now their sled was full of ice. Jumping out of the boat, Anna flung herself against the deliciously cold blocks. Oh, am I glad to see you, she exclaimed. Meanwhile, Olaf told Kristoff and Sven all about his adventures. When he finished, he sighed with happiness. I wish it could always be summer, he said. Elsa smiled mischievously. Summer is pretty wonderful, but tomorrow I predict a chance of snow.